I'm I'm still over encumbered. So I am. I guess easy answer is Oh. I'm gonna just put apples in with the healing kit. Oh, let's see, do I have any other? Let's just do that. So I am encumbered. We don't have any Oh, river hideout. The river hideout is probably the underground river hideout, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I can't fast travel while encumbered. I'm not dazed anymore. I'm trying to think of where I want to go next. Unfortunately, I cannot sprint while I'm in this state. What is this up here? I'm just going to kind of trudge around for a bit. Because, yeah, I got dazed, and then I got over-encumbered. Oh, you can see the whole world from here. Volcanic Summit. <laughs> that was a little bit more slip and slidey than I was expecting it would be. I was just like, hey, let's look down. Zoop! <laughs> Alright, we're here again. I guess let's go see what's in this guy's inventory, and then let's probably get out of there. Wait before he looked. I mean, I wasn't exactly trying to go down at light speed. It just kind of happened. Uh, let's see. Well, I know there's a vending machine over here on the right, so I guess let's head for the, uh, let's... Oh, wait, but we don't get the... Uh, shoot. We'll come back later. I need to get that in encumbrance to, uh, teleportation. Otherwise, this sort of thing is just going to slowly destroy me. Otherwise, I could actually just drop some stuff. Like, we're almost there. I'll be better at about watching my inventory. What are, no, 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 no. Because she, she contributes to my inventory, but I can't give her things to hold. And yeah, no drop, only take. Oh yeah, no. I even if it's even if it costs me some extra time, I my my number one rule is never sell stuff. Can I break down stuff down now? Oh, I can't. I can't break stuff down now. Awesome. That saves me some time. Let's see, we'll get rid of the telescoping staves at this point. So I I have a I have a lot more inventory space then and can do a lot more things. I'm just gonna get rid of the swords. I'm not interested in swords today. Or am I really interested in this cleaver? Maybe I should give it a go though. Probably try the jolter pistol at some point. Or is that what I'm using? Oh, that's that's what I am using. Oh, I like the Jolter Pistol. What about armor? Awesome. So yeah, I can I can just uh, salvage a whole bunch of stuff. I'm still super freaking overburdened. It's probably all of these. Okay, that's so much better. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. See, I like the TNL weapons. They look cool and are effective. Are those the plasma things that I've been rolling with? Because that's a joke. TNL is the... Laser blaster. I'll have to... I'll have to form my opinions on which I like when at a later date. Okay. So wait. Fish sticks. Now I'm just going to sell a bunch of these. I didn't sell my apples, did I? Okay, I still have my apples. Oh, that's the answer. I can't sell my apples. Well, you know what? That works perfectly for me. Let's go back to this. 
And except for Adreno, I might just want to sell everything. That's what that makes simplifies things. Easy money. Easy inventory management. Uh, let's see. Sell junk. Don't know how much I had. Quests. Oh, and you can buy back quite a lot. That's you're not hoarding consumables? What game is this? Uh, the kind of game where it's not super... Damn it, I still have stuff. Oh, I was buying? Shit. I just bought the whole machine. Well, surprisingly, I still have money. It's okay. That's a dumb mistake. But it's fine. Because you know what? We're going to do it in reverse. Yeah, that was an expensive mistake. But you know what? Whatever. Okay, and how am I looking? That's a lot better. I sold my junk. These don't have any weight, do they? Okay. Yeah, I'll pay more attention to that at some point. We should probably also deal with my weapon modifications at something. Are there diminishing returns for selling items? Uh, not in the way that it works in, like, uh, Fable, but I certainly lost a lot of money there. Luckily, I don't really give a shit. I'm sure it'll matter, but, like, I'll make plenty. Okay, let's go up the road this way. We haven't been this direction. I was wondering why I couldn't sell all my apples. I... Well, oh well. I mean, on the plus side, I pretty much get an insane amount of money just by existing. So, a uh, small setback like that is not particularly terrible. I found the outpost. Did they just not notice? These guys, the ones with the yellow helmets, are very resistant to being smacked around. Uh, plasma's cool. Plasma makes them disintegrate. Crime never pays, except when it totally does. Except from video games, then crime pays quite a lot. And there's, like, no consequences for your actions. In real life, I'd be... I'd be in trouble. I'd be in so much trouble. This game... Hardly. It does kind of make the game a little too easy, in some cases. Like, maybe I could have actually done Supernova after all. I mean... I absolutely could have done Supernova, period, but like, eh. Hello. Do I sense any bandits in here? Nope. Messages. Okay, I must... I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth Directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and the other company colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces. Or war amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had the cho if they had a choice in the matter? And Eldridge. Of course I'd never dispute that the Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here amongst the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive is simply the extra leverage the Directorate needed to return to power. Let's see. Now we, uh, now we all know how it feels to be a sociopath. I mean, video games straight up teach you... Wait. Straight up teach you how to be... A sociopath. <gasps> Plasma cutter. It's slightly less cool than I was expecting, but... Yeah, I'll go with it. Just got a little letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery. Effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center selling rare mem memorabilia, but scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. 
As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want to lose the. Uh, don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them all away, all away in a cave over by the river. Oh, it's that guy's books. Okay. But yeah, I, I firmly believe that any kind of like open world sandbox game where you have this level of like interactions absolutely is just sociopath simulator. Oh, I see. That would have been a way up and in. Thug kit. You just aren't street enough. Look at all this stuff. Anything else? Nope, not really. Alright, onwards to the next thing. Maybe? I could try... I'm pretty sure walking over the lava flow is death. So it is! At first it wasn't too much damage, and then it was a lot. Yeah, so that's... that's the invisible wall of this area. A lava flow. This seems like a terrible place to have a cannery. Now this is not the community center. This is somewhere completely new. Let be for me. Energy canister. Came out this far. Looks like they wrecked a whole lot. Well, do we grab the... I wonder if I can get a silencer at some point. Because that'd be pretty fun. Hell yeah. Wait, they got hit by their own mines. This is amazing. Well, looks like sniping is kind of the way to go. Maybe I should give her a snipe rifle too, at some point. Too, f too bad it wasn't uh, two for one with a bullet. Oh, that was one of the bandit leaders. Got it. I might want to spend some money next time we find a workbench and just like really buff this gun up. So I can... Ow. Oh, during your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but provides a perk. This is yours. No. Free per perk point at the cost of all of my mind attributes. That sounds bad. I mean, it's 100% bad. Power armor? Oh, but... No power armor. I don't even know if this game really does power armor in the same way. The Fallout will. I kind of hope it doesn't. I hope it's just like armor armor as opposed to like this big honking thing that you have to get into. I'm getting a lot of weird parts here though. Kind of nice. Uh, let's switch back to the pistol. I highly doubt we're going to run into much of anything, but hey. If I'm going to be in qu close quarters, I'd rather be prepared for it. Oh. Oh, it's Zoe! Wow! You put those marauders in the dirt quicker than the mass marketeer! Teach me your ways! Well, I'm pretty confused right now. Hey, me too! But mostly because I just had my second dose of Adrena time. I am so completely addled right now. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. You need to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? 
bombarded them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Are you from Edgewater? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There's something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Pretty sure I don't have anything. All right, cool. Stand up, say that. Sup, nerd? I know that guy was just not, not at all aware that we we murdered every single person. Had no clue. All right, what do they got in the kitchens? Anything else? Yeah, I don't know why, but Subnerd is like one of my go-to battle cries. Usually when I'm rolling melee. I just, I've accepted it. Let's see. Bypass serum, anything else? Or not serum. Uh, whatever the slicer thing is. More robot bits. Dead marauder thugs. That's a landmine. It was really hurt. If I ever get another stat point, I'm probably investing it in the healing one. I should probably use a healing item. Did that come with the apple or did that get reset? Eh, it came with the apple. Apple injection. Yeah, the reason why the apple injection is good is it in hopefully increases my natural healing by a fair bit. Yeah, it looks like it. There it's going. Okay, cleared this out. That was the main structure. Have I been in here? Actually, I don't think I can go in this big main building. Yep, looks like it's locked off. So, unless there's anything more, I think we're done. We. Who cares about landmines when you're going to get moxed one? Very fast, though. It's nice. Ooh. That's a couple of primal behemoths. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Weapons. What do I have weapon-wise? weapon, weapon -wise? I got a whole bunch of grenade launchers. Uses heavy. Does decent damage. Plasma rifle, kind of expensive. Boom. Yeah. This is better. Okay, I've been turbo slowed, but I do some horrible things to these guys in particular. Which is kind of awesome. There we go. Oh, this is, this is a solid, solid gun. And we got plenty of ammo for it, and I'm over encumbered again. How does this keep happening? See, now, eh, now these don't actually sell for that much. How heavy is this thing? Pretty heavy. Higher sell value, though, which is kind of a trade off. I wonder if I should go back to that injured guy from the very beginning of this game. I wonder if he has anything in interesting to say. Probably. Okay, so what were these guys guarding? A yeah, cutter. I should try the cutter, but I don't really want to try the cutter against anything 
big. I'm not that durable yet. My... My main skills and talents lie almost primarily in um, hitting and running. That said... I think I found Daddy Dog. Daddy Dog gained it alpha. Still not that... Ooh, I'm bleeding. You know what? Eat apple. Oh, I was bleeding. I'm no longer bleeding. That was fast. Nice. Wow. Oh, that's why. Retrofitted heavy power armor. Uh, let's see. Heavy weapons. You know what? Pavardi. You get to look cooler. Honestly, I'm not... That might have been a step back. Let's see. Level 4. Level 7. It says skill kit 3. I'm curious what the 3 necessarily stands for. Alright, one way or another. Uh, let's go back to inventory. I might as well break down these bits of armor, because I, I certainly don't need them. I think I like Pavardi in the, uh, in this. Oh, I have three skill kits. That would explain it. But yeah, I don't think the retrofitted, retrofitted heavy power armor is actually as useful as I'd like. It looked cool in concept. Execution? Eh. Let's see. Your impressions of this game is mix of Borderlands and Fallout. Not too far off. I'd say it's mostly just Fallout. The Borderlands comparison is maybe just for the humor. This is definitely a funnier game than most of the Fallout games were. Not... Well, no, no. New Vegas was hilarious. It had really good writing. I don't remember Fallout 3 or 4 being particularly funny. Yeah, so... I think you can install three skill kits. I'm assuming it only has a slot. It probably just means that I have three different skill kits that I can install. Oh, but I could be wrong. But yeah, as a proper Fallout successor, this... This ranks real high for me. It's just fun. There we go. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to want to get my hands on some, like, beefy sniper rifles. It seems to work freaking well in this game. Maybe not against the big beasties, but against, like, regular enemies. Because they don't actually, like, rush in or flank particularly well. They just kind of sit there and shoot you. And I can really use that to my advantage. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's Fallout in Space. Those in Bethesda are working on Fallout in Space. Yeah, they're working on a game called Starfield. I'm... Uh... I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I care too much at this point. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I like the idea of Starfield. I'm gonna get rid of the shovel. The shovel is hilarious, but... Eh. Oh, I see. It probably just doesn't have a mod slot there. And honestly, I'm going to get rid of my hibernation suit. And probably the armored ballistics. I don't really need the stealth, stealth skill bonus. But yeah, Bethesda is working on a game called Starfield. Who knows when it'll be out? Who knows if it'll be any good? I know for Starfield, at the very least, they're going to be using the exact same engine that they've been using for the past couple of games. And it was dated by the time Skyrim came out, which is not confidence-inspiring, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's see. So there's Nor North Gulch. Uh, go to the Botanical Lab. If I check quests... Stranger in a Strange Land... Let's do Fistful of Digits. Where Where are these? Does it not say?
Interesting. Or... Ah, there we go. Okay, so where are these? Marauder Encampment. Huh. I guess maybe they didn't spawn until now. What about finding the three volumes? Looks like I found two out of three and the last one's back in, in town. Did I never clear this out? I don't think I did. Let's go do that first. And then we'll go get the book. Yeah, I most certainly did not clear this place out. This place looks, um... Fortified. Oh. Combat drones, mechanical guardians. I see. Here we go. Down they go. Ah! Might as well make them come to me. Okay, so I found the geothermal power power plant. Security patrol. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Here we go! There we go. Grenade launcher seems to work pretty damn well for this thing. This time I drive far more entertainment from Bethesda bumbling around and failing miserably with their actual games. Yeah, kind of. Hey. It's kind of one of those where it's like, I'm more than willing to... I'm more than willing to accept the loss of Bethesda's games, which were always kind of messy, uh, in favor of it inspiring other people to do better, if that makes sense. Because, like, I'd rather have, you know, one Bethesda and, you know... Two or three obsidians. I didn't follow it for use the same engine as Skyrim as well as 76. Yep, and I believe it was all the same engine as Oblivion. I don't remember if it was the same engine as Morrowind, but it like Bethesda has not changed their their lineup that much. It's friendly fire or self harm a thing. Self harm is a thing, but boy is it mild. Yeah, all creative engine, which like, you know, probably was pretty good for the time, and maybe it's better than, uh, than I think it is. It just doesn't strike me as something that's particularly powerful. I mean, Fallout 4 barely ran on most of my computers on, like, decent graphics. I had to mod it so it was actually good, which was weird and felt wrong. Okay, and Fallout 3. Wow. Yeah, disarm security fences. View recent logs. Error, security log inaccessible. In keeping with Spacer's Choice Company policy, all security logs, logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. <laughs> and they pretty much never did any kind of security updates. Small surprise that this happened. Oh, this has a vending machine. Perfect. Let's go sell some stuff. And I can fast travel here. Perfect. Even better. Okay, vending machine. What do you have for me? And by that, I mean, let's not accidentally sell stuff here. Part of the reason why I'm not picking and choosing that is it's so much easier for me to not ha not look. Okay, so yeah, we can just sell these. And then we don't need the spare elite troop armor. What about weapons? Because yeah, I've got... Hey, I got a shock cannon, finally. Sawed-off shotgun. Let's sell the sawed-off shotguns. Let's sell the plasma rifles. I 
I might have to try uh, take a look see at that. Let's see. We should probably give her. We could give her the assault rifle. It has a really high s uh right really high DPS. Let's see, and I do have plenty of junk. This is true. Okay, Pavardi. Because I gave her the light assault rifle, but that's not actually that accurate. Yeah, let's try the plasma rifle for a little while. Oh, that's how this works. Sell the junk. What else do we have? I like the hammer. I should probably hold on to it for a bit. We could... Eh, no, no, let's, let's sell the other bolter pistol. And honestly, I'm just going to sell the other revolver. We might get another one that's better at some point, but still. I'm so glad ammo does not weigh anything. I always hated that. The mods weigh stuff, though. It's just the problem is I actually kind of want some of these... Ooh, Whisper Quiet Muzzler. Okay. So that's that's incredible in its own own right. Reducing uh muzzle noise would let me potentially snipe people and they wouldn't even know. I mean, except for the fact that they're dying, but still. Okay, so where was I? We were going to go back to journal. We are going to do Fistful of Digits. One to the right, one to the left. Let's go for the one on the left, I think, first. What am I doing on a carry? Wait, I'm doing beautifully. And yeah, let's see if this gun's, gun's any good. So, oh yeah, I have I have cleared this place out. Boop. I win. Yeah, I got to I got to put a uh the shots are kind of slow. Oh, that's where they fell. The shots are kind of slow, but the damage is undeniable. I think that was a body shot. So they were here. And I'm pretty sure Birdie Cotton is the only one that spawned here because I cleared the whole place out. Yes. Hey. I have no idea what engine is being used for this. If I had a guess, I'd say Unreal Engine is being used for Outer Worlds. But I could be wrong. Also, somebody had asked earlier if this is multiplayer. Very unfortunately, it is not. That said, it wouldn't... I, I could see multiplayer working in this game fairly well, but then again, I'd kind of see multiplayer being a, a potential, like, thing that would work for quite a lot of games. Scrap mechanical. Ooh. That sucker is durable. Okay, that was a puncher. But yeah, I'm liking I'm liking this plasma rifle. It's pretty satisfying. Let's see. Bodies 
there's the bodies. Random music box. What else did I kill around here? Killed that one. Didn't get anything. Yeah, I might want to get another loot radius. Or loot radar thing. Because I put that on Pravati's armor, hoping... Well, I put it on Pravati's armor. Sealed. I think there might be some kind of entrance. And if there is, maybe it's on the rooftop. Hard to say. Oh. I'm assuming half these buildings cannot be entered conventionally. Which I guess is fine. I just want all the goodies that lurk inside. I want them goods. Okay, what do you got? Sliced bread, bunch of other junk. Pooper, nothing else. Okay, so... Huh. Oh, they're in the cave that I cleared out a while back. That's that's where the uh, person is. I was kind of expecting they would pop out and attack me at some point, but... Nope. Is that it? Is that really it for this place? Huh. I was expecting a bit more. I guess it was that guy. But yeah, nothing nothing in here. All right. Go clear that cave of the singular person hiding out. Play this game killing everyone. I wonder if you can play it killing no one. I don't think so. Because you have to kill... Uh, okay, no. I take it back. You probably can, but you have to accept that some people are going to kill other people in your presence. Like, you can't have a completely uh, casualty-free playthrough. That doesn't work. Yeah. They really do not want me scaling this, do they? Well, I guess we'll go back around. We. As long as you don't kill them, don't tell someone to kill them, it's fine. Well, no, you'd have to, because straight up the, the tutorial is... Oh. The tutorial requires you to, uh... Oh, sprinting cancels the charge. Awesome. For a second, I thought that blew up in my face, and I got worried. But fine. I guess I'll use the other gun. The enemies have some jukes. Oh, wow. Doc Mabel died in a second. Well, that's convenient. But yeah, uh, you have to kill some people to get them off your ship. Oh. And one of my things is busted. What is busted? This? No, oh, that condition is fine. Oh, it's... Blad on stick. Spacer's choice. Made melee. Inspect. Oh, you can see the crit chance. Crit damage. Noise range. Conditions. Okay. These are kind of neat. It's also kind of busted. I don't really know if I care too much for blad on stick. I mean, it's a better weapon for sure. It's so sharp it can cut some letters out of its own name. Pfft. Sure. Why not? Uh, let's see. Oh, and the illustrated manual is a companion quest. Okay, so we're actually going to go back to Edgewater for a bit before I do the rest. Because, yeah. I like that diagram. I just don't like the thing it's a diagram of. Okay. So let's figure out where this last book is, I think. Oh, it's in there? All right. Robbery. The quiet kind. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's the variety that gets me stuff without costing me a penny. Effort. Or... Oh, no, no, no. It's in, it's in here. Okay. What? Oh. It's not in here. It's up in What's-His-Face's office. Messages. Phyllis, owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I've sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Space Choices family who fall ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. Run this together. To root. Personal files. Password protected. Okay. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our quarterlies. Sounds fair to me. I was asked to prepare a statement or something to the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work, show up, wear a smile, and you'll get your medical privileges. It's a start. You really are not fooling anyone here. This place needs to get shut down just for OSHA. What? Really? She's just gonna kill him, isn't she? This is confusing. I'm just gonna go upstairs. We'll see how this will go. First come source, I reload. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they're immediately aggroed. Uh... Let's go with this one. I figured he couldn't see me. I guess he was looking. Hold up. Oh, I'm here. Oh, it was right before I warped. That makes sense. Wait, those rats are called a fish. What? Yeah, so, effectively, uh... Oh, for a second I thought that was a body over a trash cube. Uh... Effectively, these people haven't been pulling in... Is it tuna? Yeah, salt tuna. They haven't been bringing in any of the fish at all for potentially a very long time. So what they've been doing instead is, uh is canning sprat meat instead and just calling it to saltuna 